Hi guys, welcome back to another segment of the Alubanaga show. Before I go on, I have a very exciting news for you. Your search for finding the right job ends now with ReLevel. ReLevel by Unacademy is India's first hiring test platform where you can get access to over 1,000 jobs across top companies. Top startups and unicorns like Cred, uh, Upgrade, Misho, Razor Play, Urban Company, and many more are hiring through ReLevel. Completely online, all you have to do is register for the ReLevel test in just four steps. Sign up on ReLevel.com, select the test of your choice, book a slot when you want to give the ReLevel test. Slots are real, uh, limited, so I suggest you book it fast, click book test and confirm your slots for the test. All round of the test will be completed in a single day and you will get your scores within a week. Uh, 1000 plus job positions across five business tests, business development, business analytics with three new tests, associate products, uh, product management with packages up to 25 lakhs per annum, and uh, HR generalist operations associates with packages up to 10 lakhs per annum, and 1000 plus positions across five technical tests, front end development, back end development with two new tests, Android development with packages up to 25 lakhs per annum and full stack development test with packages up to 50 lakhs as well uh, per annum. Companies will reach out to you based on your profile. The better you, uh, your re-level score, the more companies will reach out to you. The test is completely free. You can re-attempt it a number of times. You know, re-level has delivered over 15 crores worth of jobs. So what are you waiting for? Register for the re-level test today and Let's go back to the interview. Hey guys, welcome back after a break. We're really excited to see all of you. Last Sunday we did not shoot because we were busy with our festival, Musica, and we want to say thank you to everyone for your support. You know, some of you came and <coughs> some of you could not come, but your presence was there through your you know, support, your, your prayer. So thank you so much. Today, I am really excited. I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. And I wanted this band. And finally, they said yes. They could take a time for us. Came all the way from Kohima and Woka. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not about them, but it's about us. Welcome about us. Hi. You guys are the most... <clears throat> hottest, you know, demanding banners of now in Nagaland. So I'm really happy to host you. So thank you so much once again for uh, taking our time and coming all the way to Dimapur. We are more happy to be here. Yeah, thank you so thank much for having us. <clears throat> Pleasure. So let's go straight. I want to know about you. Please, uh, can you introduce yourself uh, to the audience? Maybe we'll start with you. All right. Uh, hi, <clears throat> I'm Soren Kikon and I play the bass. Hi, I'm Sujan Kikon. I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm the vocalist of the band. I am Ren <coughs> and then I am the guitarist of the band. <coughs> and the dollars again. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hi, I'm Pona Kikon and I'm and I play the guitars. <coughs> Hi there. I'm Rembo Muyantan and I'm the keyboard player of the band. Wow. <coughs> Thank you so much. So uh I heard that like you guys are into <coughs> some of your working and all, right? Because most of the uh, musicians in Nagaland are like mostly jobless people. You know? <laughs> Out here, the band is like all officers and you know doing good. So I mean, if you don't mind, would you like to tell about I mean, what what are you guys doing besides the music and all? Yeah, maybe yeah, you can maybe you can introduce. All uh, right, I I'm a common officer, of course. Mm -hmm. yes. I work as assistant director in social welfare. Wow. So I'm blessed to be there working. Mm -hmm. Yes, besides the music, yes, uh, it's. Uh, you know, it gives me a lot of opportunity to think of music now because, mm. you know, I don't have to look about my livelihood, mm -hmm, so which mm -hmm. is stable. Yeah. So in that mm -hmm. way, you know, my focus is more. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, uh, maybe what are you guys doing besides the music or full-time music? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm a full-time musician. For okay, now. awesome, yeah. awesome. Uh, I'm a... Can I have the microphone? <laughs> I, uh, I'm a senior DA in uh, Treasuries and Accounts Department. Mm. And then, yes, as he has said, like, you know, like, uh, now, like, 
at least to some certain extent, mm -hmm. uh, like um, our <coughs> mind is free to pursue music. Wow. So in that sense, it's a blessing. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm an entrepreneur. I I run a bakery mm. in Woka. Uh, so that's my full time wow. job. Yeah. Uh, well, I serve in uh, DB department, mm. which is under NHM, okay, okay. as a uh, district BMTD DPHRV supervisor. Wow. See, thank you so much. It's so inspiring, you know, and so inspiring, you know. You now, you've been doing that, and now you're running after a passion, you know, and now into music. So this is so encouraging also. And uh, I heard you guys are mostly from Woka, right? Yeah. So I uh, would love to know about the history, how did the band come? And I also heard that there was a different name and you know, different members and then uh, some of you joined. So can you please uh, share about the history of the band? You know? How yeah. did you come? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> uh, actually, yes, like uh, it was around like, I would say like eight, nine, years back nah. and then of course before that like we were you know playing like live shows mm -hmm. here and there and then like after like uh, doing that thing mm -hmm. uh, you know especially covering covers mm -hmm. i would say so after all those things like we had a kind of like a uh, situation where we wanted to pursue originals and then like uh, i would say like for that particular matter not, not only that but like uh, maybe uh, one day when we grow old mm -hmm. and then look back mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. you know, our life back, you know, as a singer, mm -hmm. then I think personally, and I believe like for all the members here, mm -hmm. uh, they would love like if they had their own originals. So, you know, whether you, like kind of in that vibe. Mm -hmm. So that's where we took the direction. Okay, so okay. starting from the new band, like uh, he was... Uh, uh, actually, like he totally gave up music mm. <laughs> one time. So, it, yeah. yeah, he joined us, <clears throat> and then he came aboard, and then like rest is like uh, you know, as uh, you can see right now currently. Who are the so, founding yeah. members like initially, uh, or you all together? Uh, <clears throat> during the courses of, and I mean, we have been the except our vocal who mm -hmm. joined quite late to mm -hmm. us. Acha. We were playing together in a blues band mm -hmm. yeah so like i mean like during the course of the our music career together we have tried to do a lot of experimentation of music and okay. blues we try hard to <coughs> let it go inside us but it's very tough you know i mean like <laughs> okay. we 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 nagas mm -hmm. i mean i we are more inclined to the rock kind rock, of thing yeah yeah so we four or five years ago i remember I, I told my, I mean, we've been together, we grew up together also. Mm -hmm. So I told him, let's try to shift the focus to somewhere where, we, where our soul will come in. Mm -hmm. So he started, we started making riffs and all this. So some of the songs that here are, have been made a few years ago. Mm -hmm. So those riffs are. That's right, that's right. So then we decided to, you know, look for more genre of music that mm -hmm. naturally comes to us. Then when we when our the vocal joiners, <clears throat> we decided that okay, we'll go for this genre and then we'll have to, you know, come up with an originals. Then that's how we started the progress. Okay. So let's talk about you. What were you doing? I mean, we know that these guys were playing blues, they were in yeah. a band. So what were you doing before that, um, you know? Prior joining the band, I was also, you know, playing in project bands. Ocha. I was playing here and there. Ocha, ocha, ocha. I didn't really have time to mm -hmm. even form a band as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's like I was, maybe I was waiting for them. Okay, <laughs> yeah, wow. For him, <coughs> That's so right glad moment. to hear that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, coming from Woka, you know, how's the music scene there, you know? Like you growing up and now, is it changing, you know? Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> when we talk about music, it's more or less uh, like, a, same everywhere, mm -hmm. <laughs> generally speaking. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. especially when we talk about Woka, uh, Woka, of course, people, generally people, we love, people love music, mm -hmm. generally, in Woka, like like everybody else. But people in Woka are more into, like, uh, sort of like, uh, not into, uh, 
Oh, let's cut no this. Problem, no problem, no problem. Yeah, you can continue again. It's a good yeah. We are more into we are more into like uh, the rock cuttings or off. Acha, acha. Uh, okay, 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 rock okay. Because the legacy <laughs> that uh, the legacy that uh, we have, uh, and uh, we are more inspired by uh, sort of like uh, rock artists. Okay, okay. And then now when we talk about us, we we too we we get our influences from from our parents, like sort of, mm -hmm. we are the second generation rockers from Woka, in fact. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> so, mm. like, uh, that's where uh, that's where the thing achha, goes achha. on. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's talk about about us. Uh, last year, April, you guys uh, dropped a single called Gimme Gimme, and the whole, you know, Nagaland went crazy, and that I was one of the fans, you know, I went, I mean, I loved the song. Everything was perfect about that. The video from the Reeves, the lead solo, you know. I loved it. So now let's talk about About Us. Before we go into the band, the name About Us, it's so unusual. Like, how did you come up with that name and who was the guy who coined it? You know, what is the name behind that? About it was us. The one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, we had a tough time. We had a, a tough session in coining the name mm -hmm. About Us because we wanted, we wanted people, we wanted everybody to be with us. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be one in one we wanted to be in one entity mm -hmm. we, did, we did not want us to be a different entity mm -hmm. so we wanted the world to be with us mm -hmm. everything we do every notes we play every session we uh, take that's right, that's right. we wanted okay. people to be a part of us <laughs> wow so that's how uh, about us it came about oh, that's right. uh, prior to the naming of this uh, the coming up before that mm -hmm. we tried with name Corden North. So we had we have a very bad experience with the golden node. It's a the golden node. It's a, it's a term that was used during Alexander the Great King. Acha. So its mm -hmm. node is something of a jinx. Mm -hmm. So we we in fact we we recorded the song Lord of Love with the name of golden uh, golden node. Yeah. Acha, acha. But then when we are about to do some things, something will happen. That's it. Something the other will happen, jinx. and there is always a hint, you know hiccups. So we decided, uh, I think. The, uh, this guy, he, he called me up and said, I think he's in to do something with a name. That's because a he is really, it was like we were okay. sort of superstitious <coughs> or something Jinx, like that. Uh, so, we went to recording song in Kohima. Mm -hmm. We came about, we seated at our manager's place and decided we have to do something with a band's name. Achha, achha. All right. Then, we were sitting there, talking about the name of the band and then, as our guitar player suggested about us. So, as you have said, it's mm -hmm. all about us. And mm -hmm. the soul in it is like, mm -hmm. we want, we are doing it for ourselves, you know, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. music, it's all about that comes from us. Mm -hmm. And we want to share to the world that wow. comes out of us. Ooh. The passion, the love that we want to share today. So, so it, it, it's all about us, you know. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's beautiful. I mean, well, we were not aware of this, you know. Thank you so much for sharing. Now let's talk about the album. You guys dropped your album December, right? Yeah. December, and then uh, we just saw two songs, and all the songs are hiding. <laughs> we don't see an <laughs> online platform also, and yeah. Please share us about the album and why uh, you just shared album release, but you, I think you didn't release online, right? On digital platform or? Oh, no, not yet. Not yet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is the reason behind, and because yeah, if you can share something about uh, the album, you know? The reason being not, Really, uh, w the reason why we didn't re uh, release it uh, online is because we came up with the hard copies as well, okay. limited copies. Achha, achha. So before we uh, sell all those off, then uh, yeah, 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 we thought yeah. like uh, the hard copies should go to that achha, 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 achha. offense okay, okay. first. Okay. Then only we will release it. So how's the how's the sale going? If you don't mind, you know, so far. Uh, you, so any marketing? far. It's not very so positive, you know. Achha, I mean, achha, like, achha. It's with the coming of the. It has to do something with the coming of the internet age. Yep. Now, because <coughs> more people are into mobile rather than having a physical position. Yeah, of yeah. So we blame the uh, the internet for that. Internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's been. I mean, you guys did a very good taste, you know. I thank you so much for sending me my copy. It's so beautiful. It's like so different in a pen drive, but then the CD and it looks like a record, you know. It's like. You don't want to throw away, you know, other music 
cover it's just you know after listening you throw it but your cover is like it's like a you know it's like a frame you can frame it you know it's like a showpiece so kudos to that and uh, I hope we can get on digital platform very soon or what's the plan if you don't yeah, mind yeah very sure yeah and I heard a rumor that you guys are talking with some labels or some record labels so is it true or yeah yeah it's currently under process yeah so we <coughs> we are in uh, discussions with the Fondi record label from wow. Italy. Ooh. So this record deal has been, I mean, this level has been into signing a lot of rock artists. Okay. Like, mm. uh, uh, you know, most of the rock artists like White Snakes and White Lions and mm -hmm. Extreme, wow. Mr. Big, mm -hmm. they are under this level. So, I mean, Ping, Ping in, in coming within the ambit of <coughs> their service is something wow. we are really looking forward to it. Ooh. That's big news. I mean, all the Nagas, we should pray for them and then, you know, that they could sign and then you guys will make us proud and make, you know, hope that you will pave more ways, uh, I mean, roads for the musicians who are behind you or coming up right now. Uh, let's talk about the songwriting process. So how do you go ahead? Who writes the song mostly? Or is it like you guys come together, right? Or Majority of the songs are being written by him. Oh, chat, chat, chat. I helped him up with three songs. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So, uh, and then how do you do? Like, uh, after you write, you come together, jam, or, yeah. So, like, uh, when I'm writing and then composing, like, uh, I don't follow a set rules or achha, particular achha. idea. Okay. Like, so, like, something that inspires me, like, I write it down. Mm -hmm. And then, like, uh, uh, again, like, uh, Given this advancement in uh, telecommunication and everything, like you know, you are able to get your hands on so many different sets of softwares, mm -hmm. you know. So technically, like when I have an idea, like I just record it and then mm. try to fill up like so many different uh, instruments, like as, as as much as I can. That's so that's after that, like listening to it, like I'll send it to the guys and then like they listen, like whether oh. if they like it or not, and then. At the end of the day, like uh, everybody, everybody is in the process. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So each one like will bring their own ideas, will share their own ideas. So, but the thing is like the bottom line being like at the end of the day, like everybody should agree. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's okay. how uh, I usually. So initially then, yeah. you do all the production and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, interesting. So. I mean, it's so blessed to have somebody in the band who knows this thing, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, always yeah. run to a studio guy, you know, engineer yeah. because Initial ones, maybe yeah, the, yeah. the filtered one, we can go and do that. Ah, yes, yes. I'm so glad at least, you know, some of you can do that in the band. Okay, now let's move on to the, uh, you know, I always ask this. You guys are like from different, now you're in Kohima, posted there, you guys are Woka. So how do you jam, you know? How is it possible, you know? Kohima to Dima is also another one and a half, two kilometer, uh, two hours. So how do you jam or how do you meet up? Uh, okay. Right now, the process is like we I we normally mm. practice during the weekend Achha. because I I'm actively in my office, so mm. uh, we jam Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so, or Woka? Woka, I go down. Oh, you go down. Yeah, I'm going Dang. down. So, you know, yeah, you, you, there, there, there is a little bit of, every bit of sacrifice has to be given somewhere else. So that's why we do. But now we also have an idea of where we they will come up. Now we're deciding that we have decided that I'll come down one weekend. They'll come up. The next weekend. Ah, chat, I'm not going to travel the whole time. So yeah, we're going we're okay. to have. So that's how we are fitting into the gam altogether. Right okay, now. okay. Wow, it's, it's very interesting. And I heard some of you are married, right? Uh, how many of you are married, if you don't mind? Or you don't want to share it to the girls around the world? <laughs> okay, you're the only one, yes. right? Okay, okay. 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 They, they follow suit. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, great, great. So uh, your family, your wives are okay with this? Like, they're supportive or...? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the whole family is into the song. You know, I mean, like when we start, you know, when we start working on the songs, my daughter will be the first to know the song. Wow, so he'll start singing around, jumping around with that song. So that's we, that's we that's are that's okay with it. We oh. go with the flow. You know. Oh, nice, nice. Now let's talk about touring. Everybody, every naga wants to see you know about us on stage. So when can they see you on stage? You know. Any um, plans for the tour? Yeah. Most, most hopefully, like from April. April, April right? Planning, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're it. looking forward 
So you want to do Nagaland first? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then after that you plan for outside, right? Yes. Okay, so we're looking forward for that. And then now, uh, as I see social media is, we are in the blessed generation, I always say this, you know, mm -hmm. and then you guys, you know, became famous because of social media, you know, you release one track and now even without people seeing you in real, people love you, they, they follow your band, you know, religiously and then the vocal, you know, everybody talk about the vocalist, the singer of the band, everybody praises, everybody talks about the high note that he can, you know, the pitch, everyone talks about that, you know, so, uh, how do you think social media impacted this band? First question. Second is how often are you on your different site? I mean, on your sites like YouTube, Instagram. How do you do you often interact with fans or people, supporters? You know, uh, how do you do that? Or, or you're not so active. As far as I can see, like most of us are not that active in social yeah. media. Yeah. Like, okay. But the bands, the the they, they, we have is uh, we have a different media you know, manager who looks after the media. So okay. the band page is very active. So it's the interaction with the media, with the fans is always, yes, it's, okay. it's there. Do you guys go live together, like just interacting like with ever? No, that we have not done. You so should far. do that. And then, like, I'm, I'm sure people would love to ask you questions yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah. no? Like maybe Instagram, you can go once, yeah. announce it, and then just, you know, like this, people can ask you yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fun. Because people know you from very far, so I think you should give chance to your fans yeah, yeah, you know, to come and all. So, I mean, we go to the break, but before that, like, uh, what are the musicians that have been inspiring you guys, you know, your inspirations? Maybe yeah, we can start from there, backside, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, inspirations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, basically, as of me, I don't. Uh, follow a set of rules as in like uh, being inspired by something or something like that but uh, i i happen to i happen to be a like a lover of soul soul cutting mm -hmm. that soul music so any anything that anything that brings out melody that 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 captivates me <laughs> mm -hmm. the, the notes that the notes that we play and then the notes that i play might be from that uh, basic something <laughs> yeah okay, okay okay maybe yeah the keyboard player, yeah. Well, actually, there's no particular pain okay. that I got inspiration. But oh, cha -cha. actually, yeah, I used to uh, listen to Yanni. Yanni, that, yeah, oh. yeah, the, yeah. the master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and okay. then, uh, yeah, as he said, mm -hmm. uh, everything which is melodic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's what I like. Now I know and why I your to, songs are so yes. melodic. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean that, that, that's what in it sells, right? Like melody sells. So yeah, maybe what about you guys? You know, you, you, maybe uh, me as a bass player, uh, we, I, you know, I grew up. <coughs> I started my music thing as a guitar player. Mm -hmm. So back then, I used to have a lot of, uh, you know. Guys that I like, like Young Women, Steve, Paul Gilbert, mm -hmm. Steve Weiss, not. But then I gradually move on to bass. Mm -hmm. So once I start moving on to bass, you know, like I started to like basses, like Checo Pastries. Mm -hmm. uh, and then now when we are playing covers, it's very hard to come up with your own sound. Yeah, true. So now as we are making our originals, now, now I started to have my own sound. Yeah. So that's why I try to look for inspiration and I find like bass players like John Moyung of Dream mm -hmm. Theaters and yeah. then Jacob Omanski of Indrivals and wow. then Noli of uh, Periphery. Mm -hmm. Periphery. So yeah. these, these are the musicians that, you know, that inspired me to look for a bit harder type of attacking type of yeah, yeah. music playing. Uh -huh. So that's why I have a lot of inspiration and, you know, try to come up with own ideas after listening to oh, this guys. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. I love your choice, man, bro. Mm -hmm. What about you, Susan? Yeah. Yeah, uh, as a solo artist, uh, there are so many inspirations that mm -hmm. I drew from, from around the world. There are okay. so many artists, but if I'm in a band, while I'm in the band, I drew inspiration from them, okay. from each wow. and every one of them. Because like brother just earlier said that he can even sacrifice uh, so many things. He can still manage time. Having mm -hmm. said that, he has a family, mm -hmm. he's in the government job, but he mm -hmm. can still manage time and keep, do music. So wow, respect from them, respect. I, each and every one of them, I yeah. drew with inspiration. Wow. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, like, uh, 
Of course, uh, I think like almost uh, the older generations, mm -hmm. they will know like, and then uh, the guitar players, like me being a guitarist, like uh, I was much more into uh, those uh, guys, uh, mm -hmm. Sadrianis, yeah, so Steve Vai, mm -hmm. uh, Nuno Pittengort, and then like uh, so many, so many. Mm -hmm. And then starting from jazz and blues. And then I have a kind of, uh, you know, like I do enjoy classic music like uh, Mozart, Bach. Wow. And then I follow like Indian uh, classical musicians Prasad, like wow. Pandit Ravi Shankar, awesome. uh, Hari awesome. Prasad, Prasad Chaurasia. So uh, <coughs> those people like, it's as they've said, like all has to do with melody. Yeah. So true, true. just like, uh, you know, uh, that typical thing like uh, uh, what uh, ethnic charmer, mm -hmm, like, yeah. So, uh, somewhat like that in that vein, mm -hmm. if it's anything to do with uh, melody, mm -hmm. then automatically, automatically, like, I become the snake kind of thing. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> cool, man. Awesome. The man. Snake charm. Oh, what about the gimme gimme? Who, who came up with the melody, that chorus, the hook line? Uh, it's, uh, uh, that's a, I mean, like, it's you a... take credit for that? Funny yeah. story. Come, don't be shy, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, a be beautiful line, man. Beautiful. Everything was, like, rhythm. Mm -hmm. And then just the chorus was missing. Okay. So, one day we got together Achha. at the uh, our drummer's place. Mm -hmm. And then, truth be told, like, we were just, like, hanging out. Achha, so, Achha. maybe some, like... Some of us were having a show or two. That's, <laughs> That's where the inspiration came from. Yeah. 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 A lot and of inspiration. Then, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, okay. just, yeah. So, like, uh, automatically, like, it just hit. Oh. Yeah. So, okay. I came out with, like, the melody and then, like, the first line. Mm -hmm. Gimme, gimme. Yeah, yeah. And then this guy followed. Oh, it's a, it's a, like, yeah. second line, he was there. Third line, he was there. Damn. So, and then they filled in. So, we didn't change anything. Oh. Like on that day when we got that chorus part, like uh, everything, every part was set on that day itself. Mm -hmm. And then we recorded it like uh, on our mobiles mm. and then distributed it. And that was what like, we didn't change anything. We played exactly like wow. that thing. So yeah. That's I, I, I can came. feel you, man. Sometimes you don't need to try hard, man. You know, it just comes, you know. And then uh, I'm glad you guys didn't change anything. It's so beautiful, you know. Okay, so we're going to move on uh, for a break and we'll come back and we have so much to discuss. So guys, don't go away. We'll be back after this break. Hello, Nagaland. I am coming with my team, United Sikkim Football Club, to play an exhibition match with... Sumi 11 at Surhoto under SGSA and on the 11th of March we are playing another match with Wasa 11 in Western Sumi Sports Association DDSC Stadium Dimapur. I would also like to thank and give my best wishes to Musica team and Olobo Naga for hosting this event. This entire tour is a friendly match and also an exchange program for sports basically to promote football, grassroots football and encourage footballers in Nagaland. So I'm looking forward to this and I hope it will be a great tour and a wonderful match. See you guys soon in Dimapur. conversation with about us so let's go straight uh, let's talk about your second video and uh, when it came out everyone's talking about it because of the, the set you know uh, it looks so expensive you know like I think one of the most budgeted like, you know music video and also because of the model everyone's talking about the girl in the video you know about the song and you we can see that you put a lot of efforts there you know 
So uh, whose idea was it and how did it all start, the, the, you know, the, about the music video? Yeah, you can do it, see. Uh, the music video concept was brought up by our media moderator. Okay. Most, most parts, he, he, it was his concept. Oh. Like, and at the same time, we also wanted to do something different. That's it. I don't know how far we <laughs> impacted it was, life, it was, but it was, yeah. we tried our best mm -hmm. in our own way. So we wanted to do something like okay, said, okay. different than. So as I said, you know, we, we asked uh, your supporter fans, if there's any questions, and there are so many questions about the model also. You know, the girl in the model is she, is she dating anyone from the band? So is she dating? No. Ask no. these two guys. <laughs> guys. No, 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 no. Is she dating anyone from no. the band? She she she's being so professional that she don't want to take it that way. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So guys, uh, she's single, I guess. So all the best. Okay. So we ask people. Okay, we ask your fans online, and then they ask few questions. So I'm gonna read out, and I want you to answer that. Okay. So the first one is from Nito SSS4. The band which influenced them the most. Is there any particular band that you guys love as a band? I don't think no, so. no, no particular band. Okay, no, okay, no, so, okay, cool. Uh, your goal as a band and you want to achieve as a band, is there any goal? Mm, our goal would be like living a great music legacy. Yeah, okay. yeah definitely. Awesome. Yes. Okay, this is very interesting. A song from their album which they might struggle to perform live. <laughs> any song from the album or you think everyone is? Uh, Uh, I don't really think that uh, we'll have issues with yeah, it. Because, because that's your song you played it. Song. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> Actually, and then like uh, uh, the more simpler and then like the most uh, more softer songs are, is you know, like it's more tougher. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe, maybe in, in that sense, like. Maybe those songs, but okay, I okay. think like uh, that wouldn't be a problem too. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm sure, man. That's your song, and the whatever yeah. style you sing, it's your song. <laughs> no one is gonna say anything. Okay, this is from X Kim. Uh, Want to know about their baking experience in the field of music? That whether they are trained musician or self-taught musician. I think all of us are. We have, we are self-taught. Okay, yeah. nobody went to nobody music school. Went to music school. Music school. Actually, like yeah, nobody, right? Nobody. Um, we can read. Uh, even if it's to save our life also like <laughs> <laughs> we can't do anything on this yeah I mean there are so many good musicians I mean famous singers who don't read so as long as you know it's coming from your heart yeah and, that's and it. you have the talent from God so okay this is Andrew Adler uh, did they struggle as a musician because they have got to the top level without performing or contesting any other band <laughs> so is there any struggle I mean would you like to sh any struggle or the assistant director took care of everything. <laughs> just, just kidding. Actually, yeah. like, uh, yes, uh, starting from way back before, mm -hmm. like way back before, the, like a decade, uh, as any musicians mm -hmm. or like uh, artist faces, like uh, we, uh, there was no scope for us, like to even to buy guitar strings also. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. So that that particular phase is what every musician goes yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, we, so yeah, we, we, we came through. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think like we have paid our dues mm -hmm. regarding that. So uh, fortunately, like our relatives, <coughs> friends, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like family members, we are fortunate enough and blessed enough that uh, mm -hmm. they have been supporting us. Like you know. Wow. So even in this uh, uh, particular music video right now, okay, as you have mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, definitely. It was big budgeted, mm -hmm. but then like uh, through the grace of God and then like, you know, blessing from our friends, family, yeah. friends and everything. They chipped in, we chipped in. Okay. okay. And then like, yeah, that's oh, how beautiful. it came about. Wow. Yeah. Okay, this is from Edward Humsoy. Uh, if you could change one thing in the music industry in Nagaland, what it would be? And particularly he said such an, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one thing you want to change in the music industry? I think there there isn't much to change. I, uh, if if we have to talk about the music industry in Nagaland, it's just that the artists, we we ourselves, we should change. Try to bring change, mm -hmm. not to change others, but try to bring change in ourselves. Then mm -hmm. I think change will eventually come okay. along with us. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, what about others? Uh, you know, how, how, how do you find the industry? We, we're just growing right now, the government setting up TAFMA, you know, MTF and all. So how do you see the music industry as of now? Are you satisfied with that or you think we have long way to go or what's your take on that? Basically, I feel, uh, you know, every, every great thing to happen anywhere needs a beginning. Mm -hmm. And the government, through the initiatives of the TAFMA, mm -hmm. they have been putting a lot of artists uh, to the, you know, to the different parts of the states. And, mm -hmm. well, I think that is in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, uh, we have this kind of feeling even us also. Uh, now, mm -hmm. rock music, for instance, is most popular in Nordic part of India. Yeah. Now you go to India, it's all about Bollywood, so they won't know what you're singing also. So there the market is not available. Mm -hmm. So the government coming up with this kind of support to the artists, mm -hmm. I think it, it'll go a long way in true, true. pushing them to the uh, to a level mm -hmm. where they can generate themselves or they can find an avenue where mm -hmm. they can sustain themselves. Mm -hmm. So I think this is uh, a very positive take. True, true in the music industry that has been happening. Mm -hmm. And I think now, see, if you look around the music scene in Nagaland, it's not only the performing artists, but you have a lot of school comings mm. up. Yeah. It's because the aura generated by these musicians, for example, people look at you, for instance, they say, oh, I want to be like him. Mm -hmm. But now, now they, they think that, okay, we need somebody to train my kid or my brother or somebody else. Mm -hmm. So that's where the institution comes up. So yeah. where this, these artists who have already come up to that stage, now they can be in that institution well, they can self-sustain themselves as well as, you know, let the music grow in the younger kids. And mm -hmm. in that way, the music, it's becoming a self-sustaining. True. I've seen a lot of uh, musicians taking to, not only as a performer, but, mm -hmm. you know, being a DJ where they can self-sustain. Yeah, self -sustain. yeah, very true, true, true. So I think this is the, the very environment created by the government or maybe the artists of Nagaland taking music to a certain extent, you know, true, to a level true, true. like which includes you also. Thank so you. I think that's how I see the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I totally vouch on that about, you know, school, especially music education is growing, yeah. blooming. blooming. And that's where like uh, most of the musicians can make a career or, yeah, yeah. you know, living out of it. So now let's go more on the fun segment okay we've been doing so many uh, serious segments so uh now i want you to just point okay i'm gonna ask something you just point okay among the band members uh by the way one band member is missing today right yes, yeah can yes. you give uh, a shout out who is the member uh, mr lichidan kitan okay like okay, okay. Uh, he has uh he had some personal issues achha, achha, achha. Uh, physically also okay, okay so unfortunately he can join us okay okay, so okay. we miss him a lot yeah, i mean yeah, like yeah. he's not being here yeah shout no. out yeah. so he plays the drums okay. yes yes yeah. yes okay shout out to the drummer okay now let's go straight who is the funniest just point among the band just point the funniest he's the actually missing who eats the most Kakua. De, de. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, who farts the most? Uh, we, we hardly hear. Otherwise, it could have been another music. <laughs> <laughs> wow, such a disciplined gentleman. <laughs> who is the most romantic among the band? Uh, we love our boys. Oh, obviously, yeah. all the love songs coming from yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who's the most laziest? <laughs> oh. Are you a king? He runs a bakery and now can be lazy. Who's most stubborn? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Who's the most hardworking? All no. Okay, great. <laughs> Who's the brand? Everybody. Okay, cool. Who flirts the most? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know your waves are watching. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So now let next question. In whose bedroom you will find the following items? Okay. All right. Shikar. Rajini Ganda. Okay. Uh, Vix. Who's better? Vix. <laughs> okay, lingerie. All of them are married. That's it. Oh. So they'll have it now. That's it. Family car. Okay, let's talk about simple one alcohol. Who's better? You'll find alcohol. I think he's the missing. He's missing. <laughs> he's missing. Now I know why he has health problems. <laughs> Okay, whose room you'll find Bible? Bedroom. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the next one. Naga artist you wanna go on a date with? This is 
for the singles first, okay, those who are not married. Okay, let's start with you. And Naga, artists you want to go on a date with? Come on, take the chance right now. <laughs> the the one you are watching right now. Uh, I, I haven't really gave a thought about it. If you could give me some options, then I can pick from them. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's give you Zachobeni, Lolo Izan. I'll give you Lothangli. <laughs> or maybe Rufu, okay, three. Which one will you choose? I think I will go for Rufu. Rufu, huh? yeah. Okay, yeah. great, great. Okay, uh, the rest married, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, if you're not married then, who, is there any Naga, I mean, on a brighter side, is there any Naga artist you want to go on a coffee date? Female. Please, both yeah. of you enter. Yeah, if your wife don't, <laughs> if your don't, wife don't have a problem. Uh, he, can he can take the honor. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll pass this question. Uh, <laughs> Dang, man, you guys but, are playing too smart. Ask him, ask him. Like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the most romantic guy. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm not married. Oh, so not married now. So, you're so sorry, then, yeah, who, whom would you like to go on a date with? So sorry, yeah. I'm not married, girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the most eligible no, bachelor from like, Okara. Yeah, chronic. Yeah, cr <laughs> oh, chronic bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like the among the Naga musicians, right? Uh huh. So, yeah. Uh, I would go on a date with uh, Vire. Vire. Yeah. Oh, nice choice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, according to you guys, the best voice from Nagaland besides him. I, for me, I think uh, general voice. Yeah. Rock. I have heard Monung Sang. Monung Sang. Yeah, yeah, he is like. Epic, man. Okay, best guitar player from Nagaland, besides the band members, obviously. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, for me, like, it's uh, Arn Long. Okay, okay. Yeah, great, yeah. great. Uh, bass, bass player from Nagaland, according to you. Maybe I'll ask you. Yeah, of course. I, I like Matang. Matang, huh? He's, he has a very in-depth knowledge of the gear, you sure. know, the in-between, the for the difference, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what about the best, for you, what, the best guitar player for you, from Nagaland, according to you? Uh, I would go with Li Chen. Li Chen, eh? Yep. Okay, okay. Divine Connections. Oh, Divine Connections yeah. guitarist. Wow. Thank you so much. You have any keyboard, any, any favorite keyboard player from Nagaland? Anyone you look up to uh, from Nagaland? Who is it? Uh, well, actually, I don't know the name, but uh, the fifth note. Oh, fifth note. Yes. Oh, great, great, great. Yeah, awesome. So uh, with this, we've come to the end. And uh, thank you so much for your time. And yeah, is there any pledge you want to say, you want to tell to the audience before we go away? Yeah. Always, always rock and dope. Yeah, yeah, always rock and dope. And, mm -hmm. uh, We'll be very shortly. We'll be on district or our tours. Mm -hmm. So do join us. Make sure that you buy a ticket. Mm -hmm. You know, you come to the show. Don't just buy the tickets, but come to the show. Let's have fun, right? That's okay. you know we feel make us encourage mm -hmm. to take the music as far as we can. Yeah. So let's all do it together. So it's all about us. Wow! Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, guys, don't go away. They're gonna perform for us today. So before we go, would you like to tell about the song that you'll be performing for us today? Yeah, we'll be performing our own original, that is Open Your Heart. Okay, Open Your Heart. With, uh, with this, we've come to the end, and thank you so much for staying back. Don't go away, we still have a song, but I'll see you next week. Thank you, bye.